Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, we will learn how to use Laravel Sanctum for API authentication. And finally, we will create a simple user authentication app using Laravel Sanctum, Vue, and Axios. Let's get started. First, create a new Laravel project. Run it in VS Code. Go to the Roots and API. Here you can see the Sanctum middleware that protects the user roots. All right, let's run this project. PHP Artisan Server. And if we go to the API slash user, we see that it says root login not defined because this root is protected. And to access this root, we need to be authorized. All right, here are the database migrations and the users table. And in this file, we can also see the database configurations. Let's create the database and tables. PHP artisan migrate. Okay, now our database and tables are created. But the users table is empty. Let's add some users to it. Here in the seeders, we just need to uncomment this line. And it will add 10 fake users to the users table. And here you can see that it uses a factory. In the factories, we can see fake names, email addresses, and the password, which is password. Let's run the seeder using the command php artisan db seed. Now we have our fake users. Just select one of them. We can create a controller here. But we can also use Tinker to run Laravel methods. PHP Artisan Tinker. Let's see the Sanctum documentation. Sanctum is very simple. We just need to get a user object and run create token with a name and get the plain text token. Let's get a user by email. and run create token with a name. Here is our token. Copy this. Let's go back to the browser. Open DevTools. And go to the Network tab. 
here is our failed request. Right click on it, edit and resend. Here we can modify or add new headers. Add a new header named authorization. And for the value, type bearer, followed by a white space and the token, and send it. And now we are authorized. And here is the user. And if we copy this request as curl, and run it, We can see that it also works. Actually, we can use the token anywhere for authentication. Now let's create a simple authentication app with Laravel and Vue. First, we need a root for login. Here in the API, create a post root. and use auth once and request to get the user then put the result of auth check in login And if the authentication was successful, create a token and put it in token. And finally return it. First, we must send a POST request to this root to get a token. Then send a request with the token to this protected root. Let's create a Vue.js app. All right. Create two inputs for email and password. And the button for login. And here show their results. Get the inputs values. and define message and the boolean for lighten and here use v-f to show login inputs if the user is not logged in yet
Now we need Axios for sending requests. Create login method here. Use Axios to send a POST request to the login route. With email, and password. Then get the response And if logged in was true, set the message value to welcome. And here we must get the token and save it. And I will tell you why we need to save it in a few minutes. We can use local storage, but first let's ask ChatGPT to see if it is safe or not. And it says no, it's not secure. So we use cookies. Use these functions for set and get cookies. Set the token cookie and set expiration date to 30 days. Now we can send a request to the protected route with an authorization header with the token. and then get the response and update the message. And set logged in to true. And if the authentication was not successful, update the message. And finally run the login method when the login button is clicked. Alright, let's run the app. Okay, here it is. And if we enter rank data, it says it's rank. But if a real user wants to log in, Christina Kling. And the password is password. But if the user refreshes the page, it says you are not liked in.
Now let's use the cookie that we saved. Copy this. And put it in unmounted. But now we need to get the token from the cookie. Okay, now you can see if the user refreshes the page, it uses the token to authorize the user. Now we need a logout button here. First, let's see how to delete a token in Laravel Sanctum. Here in revoking tokens, we can delete tokens by these methods. I select this. Let's go back to the Laravel project. And create a logout route, same as the user route. Get current access token and delete it. Now here in view app, create a logout function. And I copy this. And change this to logout. And if the logout was successful, Update the message. And set logged in to false. But here we need to delete the token cookie. And here create a v-else, which means user is logged in. And create a logout button here. Alright, it works. Let's log in again. And here in personal access tokens, we can see the token. But after logout, we can see that it has been deleted. And the link to the source code of this view app and the Laravel project is in the video's caption.